Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So let me ask you all a very important question. How many of you wanted to be a Super Saiyan back in the day? Please raise your hand. Then the Soul Fist is for you. If you've ever wanted to look like a Super Saiyan, sound like a Super Saiyan, eat like a Super Saiyan, even smell like a Super Saiyan, this is the class for you. This is the most fun I've had on any class yet in Lost Ark and there's much, much more to come. So without further ado, let's get into the build, fellas. Alright, alright, alright. So, if you are a DBZ fan, this may look a little familiar to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, this class is so freaking fun, guys. It has so much going for it. And if the Kamehameha wasn't enough, yes, you have the Spirit Bomb too, though. Practically in PvP, uh, good luck landing this, but if you ever do, you're an absolute god. All right, so in this video, we're going to be going over the Korea meta accepted version of the Soul Fist and what skills and morphs you should be running in your tripod system. Now, I haven't veered away from the Korean God whatsoever, and I don't regret really any of it. This is a very easy class to pick up, even though it looks a little complicated. It's a very basic combos. You're pretty much an opportunist, and you're just waiting to go all in on someone and just delete them from 100 to 0, if at all possible. Now, before we actually hop into the tripods and the skills thereof, there are a couple things I want to go over that may be confusing to some people. Now, your gauge down here is very, very important. There's no, so over time you develop this gauge and you have level one, two, and three. So level one will last one minute, a level two hype is they call it will last 40 seconds. And then the level three, your final hype is going to last 20 seconds. So each time you activate your levels of hype, you will get this bar back. So this bar right here is your abilities. So each and every single time you cast an ability, it drains it from this bar. The higher hype you have, the more energy generation you have, the more combos you can get off, etc., etc. So when you're in your beginning stages of hype, you can't really cast a lot of skills. You're kind of fishing for knockups uh, here and there. So so paying attention to your hype meter is actually really, really important. For example, I'm going to show you a, just a quick combo here. See if we go for a stun, a gap close into a knockup. Guys, I'm out of energy. I can't do anything. What you need to do at this moment, when you have zero energy here, you need to activate your hype to restore this bar completely back to full. Because what happens if you do not do anything, you just let your bar run completely down to zero. Now look, you're completely locked out of all your spells until you regenerate this bar or you activate your next level of hype. So keep that in mind when you're playing the class, when you're out of combo energy, just, just please activate your hype. It's really not the big a deal. It's not hard. All right, so let's go with skill tuning. It's pretty basic. You always want to max out swiftness because this increases your speed, your CDR, literally everything. So your remaining points you want to put into either domination or specialization, that's entirely up to you. And then always put a value point in crit just so you have the potential to crit on the class, even though it's only like 0 0.00039 or whatever percent. A crit's a crit. And let me preface this by saying before we get into the whole tripod system, you need to build according to your playstyle. This is just the quote unquote Korea meta PvP build for 3v3 as arenas. You can copy pasta this if you want, but I highly encourage you actually delve away from this skill step to find something that you thoroughly enjoy that matches your playstyle. Okay, so going through these in order, our Q is going to be Magnetic Palm. You go with Surgeon Armor because it gives you 20% damage mitigation when you're actually channeling this ability. And then Tenacity, this will give you a level one super armor. Now, there's a couple of different combos you can set up with this ability. I'm going to a scarecrow here. Um, sometimes you just want the quick knockup like this. You don't want to channel it for a long time, but there are some combos. For example, if we go to D, then you can actually get a more channeled ability off. So you can quick cast it by just simply double tapping it to get the quick knock, knock up. Or if you think you can get away with a little bit more damage, you can stay and channel it. And while you're channeling it, your incoming damage is reduced by 20%. Okay, next is our W, which is Deadly Finger. You're going to go with a Y hit radius. You're going to go with Defenseless Target because you are going to be doing a lot of knockups on this class. And the whole idea of the class is to just juggle them until the cows come home. So you want more damage while they are being juggled. And then also life speed increases your damage thereof. So just a very basic combo with this one is your Q into your W, right? It, it's not rocket science. You can gap close. You you use your D. <laughs> use your D. That's that's what she said. 
you guys get it. Okay, next is probably gonna be your most used ability. This is your gap closer on our E, which is flash step. You're going to excellent mobility because you need the distance to gap close. You really do. Victory Shadow is going to increase your damage and also you're gonna go with Tireless because quite frankly, you're going to be spamming this a lot. So having the cost reduction on the energy is absolutely huge. So you can see here, we're gonna go all the way across the map. You can cast this up to three times and that is a huge gap close. <laughs> My, my hick really just came out pardon me i'm from west virginia we can talk like that okay i'm trying my best to hide it for the video but sometimes when you get excited uh it uh it just comes out so yeah apologies for that but yeah yeah the gap close potential in this class is actually pretty nice uses up to three times boom 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 this insert your d more knock up it's it's crazy this class has so much mobility and not only is this used as a gap close but you can get away really easy with this this is a go in blow your load get out type of class and i i love it okay next is our r this is heavenly squash i this this name is kind of dumb but um it, it does a lot of damage so you're gonna go with hard hitter you're going to combo this with your abilities the whole purpose of this skill you're going to be taking enormous palm which actually changes the identity of the skill and then harsh training for your ease now Instead of it hitting the ground, knocking people up or whatever, this is a very quick jolt. It's a stun, pushback. So you can set up a lot of combos with this as well for interruptions, but I usually always use it for the damage. Go in, knock ups, more knock ups, fist them. Yeah. Okay, so for our A, this is energy release. You're going to go fighting spirit enhancement, which increases the attack power of you and all your allies by 6%. And then you want to go with energy release enhancement. This will increase your mitigation by 25%, which is pretty huge for six seconds. So always pop this before you go in for your combos. Next is our S, which is Tempest Blast. You kind of use this as like a fishing ability to possibly get a very long range stun. It's kind of hard to see. It's very quick. It's not very telegraphed. It can be dodged, you know, when someone's really paying attention, but you're kind of using it to interrupt a combo, like peeling your teammates or to get a range stun just so you can line up your burst combos a lot more efficiently um, for you and your team. So you're gonna go Song of Time, which is going to actually stun them when it hits. It's for 1.5 seconds of PvP, which is just long enough, right? 1.5 seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're getting juggled and getting, yeah, it it's a big difference. Next one goes Harsh Training, shortens the charge time on this, just so you can get this off much more quickly. And then you will go with a Demolition as well, further increasing the distance. Okay, next is our D, <laughs> that's what she said. Force Orb, uh, you're gonna go with Enhanced Speed on this one because speed is always good in arenas. Powerful Wave to increase the damage of this and also Scattering Wave. This will change the ability to where it shoots three fireballs instead of the one. And this is really good for combo plays. This is really good for appealing your teammates as well. And it's just really good poke damage. And it goes pretty far too. It's like literally off the screen. And speaking of off the stream, last but certainly not least of our basic and bitch abilities is our F, which is energy blast. So you're gonna go with weak point detection on this one. The reason you want to go with this because you're not using this to stun, you're using this on knockdown opponents in case they've you've noticed that they've used their space bar. And then when you juggle them, they just have to lay on the ground. This is going to increase the damage of this by 25%, which is freaking huge. And then you're gonna go with range hit as well. I'm going to show you guys how insane this range actually is here in just a moment. And then you want to go with Barrage and Blows. Um, this just decreases the charge up time. Yeah, yeah, it does more damage. But let me show you guys how far <laughs> this actually reaches. So check this out. All right. This doesn't do it justice. Okay. It's, it's, let's go ahead and reset the ability. We're actually going to put this on unlimited cooldowns. Just, just so you can see how insane this is. All right. So... This is hitting it off the screen. Guys, it goes further. So let's go into our settings. We're gonna go to our video. We're gonna force our aspect ratio, which you should always do in arenas. If you're not doing this, you are at such a huge disadvantage. You can literally hit people with this ability off screen. Like that is huge. That's literally off the screen. So right here they are. If you go back to the normal aspect ratio, I can't even see them. So this ability definitely has some range on it. Typically you'll use this if someone else is juggling an opponent or you know someone's going to be stationary, you know, kind of like a mechaneer or whatever the, the class is called. Um, you can get off huge damage from very, very far away in case you do not want to do a full committal. Okay, now the ultimates. We have World of Decimation, Decimation Ray. Essentially, do you want to Kamehameha someone? Or do you want to spirit bomb someone? That's that's 
that's kind of your options. Uh, they both do hellacious damage. The more practical one that most people is going to go for is the Decimation Ray. But let's be honest, if you can somehow, by the grace of God, land a three-man spear bomb, please send me the clip and I will feature it on the channel. I would love to see a triple collab with this. Please, someone land this combo. Okay, so that does it for all the tripod setup. Again, guys, let me reiterate, you need to build accordingly to your play style. This is my play style. I don't always copy pasta, but this is a really good, simple setup for someone wanting to learn the class. Yeah, the more you become familiar with the class, you can be much, much more aggressive and get really crazy with your combos. But for the time being, this is what I'm going with. And yeah, it's a really good starting point. Now, let's get into some of the basic combos. So you have your non-committal combos like D and R into F, for example, okay? Okay, so when it comes to combos, it's actually pretty basic. The identity of this class is well-defined. You want to do damage to enemies who are airborne, and pretty much all your skills are going to lead to air airborne attacks at some point. And then you do have a lot of low committal combos as well, such as you can do uh, S into F. So this is a simple stun, and then if you cast F right after, you're going to get a few ticks of this damage off as well. Plus, there's a pushback. You can do combos such as D into R into F, right? Um, that's tied up you. That's why we take the weak point detection for our F because while they're just laying on the ground or whatever, you're actually doing a lot more damage. Now, your E is more or less a gap closer or a get the hell out skill as well. Just keep that in mind. It's both offensive and defensive in nature. Your A is a super buff. If you're really going to go in and go hard, you're going to cast A, you're going to gap close, you're going to cast your Q, W into an R, into a D, whatever combo you really desire. Now you can change this combo up to a quick knock up into a W, into a D, into an R, dash out. Um, that's entirely up to you. There's a lot of little combos you can push into this, but I'm not going to get too in depth because it's just kind of like a case by case basis on some of the basic combos you want to do. It's, it's a very, very simple class to understand. Um, having really good awareness is uh, pretty keen on this because I believe you only have one super armor. You may have two, if I remember correctly. You may actually have two. Um, on one of the other builds I was testing earlier, you actually do have two super armors, but you do have to be careful because you can be caught out. If you are caught with your pants down and you haven't used the energy release, you know, giving you the, the attack power and then also the incoming damage is reduced for everyone, then you're kind of screwed. So before you go in, please pop your A. If you don't pop your A and you get caught off guard and you, you get stun locked and you waste your space bar, you're going to get deleted. Okay, so hopefully I covered everything in this video. If I left out anything or something I should go more in depth on, more examples, more combos and um, please let me know down in the comments i'm just looking to improve this video series this is my fourth build video for pvp there's many many more to come and these do take quite a while to be honest so i want this to be as quick for you guys as informational for you guys as it can be and hopefully you learn something from today's video whether you're a new player in lost art or you're a complete veteran if you are a veteran hey leave me some criticism down in the comments i haven't played a lot on this class but i will tell you it does shrek pugs really really well because they don't really know what to do your mobility on this class is pretty crazy and a lot of people in the lower ranks they, they just don't know how to react i mean let's, let's be honest and before i peace out a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat the absolute best way to support the channel is with a simple like and sub but if you want to be a patron or a part of the YouTube community. The description has everything you need down below. This has been Horcrux. Talk to you guys later. Peace.